morning, everyone. Uh, it's JJ. JJ subscribers, you'll get a special discount. Percent Putting discount. Code, I love JJ. <laughs> now, next up is student loan repayment. <laughs> I'm at Hi, so I'm at the hospital today working on a um, pain medicine elective. But then I learned things like how to manage opioids and things like that for patients who really need it, like uh, morphine and fentanyl. The other thing is the population is usually a mix of Arabs and South Asians. I'd say it's like 40% Arabs, 30% South Asians, 20% Filipinos and others. So people are always asking me where I'm from. We always have the same interaction. Like for example, today I work with an Egyptian doctor and you know, they would usually ask me, where are you from? And I would say Korea and they'd say something like, uh, you know uh, Kim Jong? And I would say like, oh, Kim Jong Un, he's not my uh, president. That's North Korea and the same spiel. It's kind of funny. Anyways, uh, there's like, three months into graduation, so keeping myself busy. It's a uh, dosa. It's like a South Indian breakfast thing. Have it with some curry and masala over there. So I just came back from the hospital and the funny thing is that because I took two years off for the military, my original batchmates have already graduated and now they're residents. So I actually work with one of my fellow classmates and it was fun because he's my senior resident, but he's also my friend. So it was uh, very comfortable doing rounds, going around the hospital, uh, comfortable asking him questions. So that was really good. And what's great about fourth year of med school is you don't really have to be pressured to do well. So I can ask whatever questions I like. And I think the best learning comes from no pressure. I don't have to worry about evaluations because I'm truly there just to learn. So I like that. I like learning without pressure. And what do I have to do today? I have a tutoring session, so I have to tutor someone in English for about an hour. I worked out and showered, so it's been a busy day, but I think it's good to keep myself busy because it feels like I accomplished something. Gotta go teach my student now. Hey, how's it going? Good? How's your week going? Uh, oh, I joined an information session. Okay, yeah. my baby. Okay, um, Parkinson's disease is an asymmetric disease, at, at least at the beginning of the disease. Okay, so, uh... Good morning everyone, it's JJ again. So it's been a pretty busy week. I'm currently doing my neurology rotation. So I've been going to the hospital, seeing some patients with neurological problems and basically learning neurology. And it's been very busy because I go to the hospital in the morning and I have lectures in the afternoon for, for a few hours. When I get home, it's very tiring because I have to rest, I have to study, and also match day is coming up. So. There's a lot going on this week. Also, there was a graduation speaker competition. So me and three other people applied to speak for graduation. So we have to give one minute speeches to sample for our classmates to see how our speeches are and they can vote on who the speaker will be for graduation. So I had to prepare for that. I don't know if I'll get it because there's a lot of great speakers and one of them even has a British accent. So I don't know if I can replace that, but we'll see. I tried my best. So today's Thursday and it's the last day of the week. Today we had three hours of lectures. We learned about like movement disorders like Parkinson's disease and things like epilepsy and seizures. So we kind of learned how to differentiate between actual seizures versus psychological seizures. So you can kind of tell if someone is actually having a seizure versus a patient who is having a seizure. So that's been pretty interesting. So three hours of lectures and after that we had two hours of practice tests. So this is a practice test for the last test in medical school and I passed. So hoping to pass the real test and graduate medical school. What else is there? Um, I have to go to the finance office to pay off my last medical school tuition fees. So I'll go do that. And my school has an international night and I'll be representing South Korea. So gotta do that as well. Busy day, but it's good because keeping myself helps me from not freaking out about the match because match is coming in about a few days 
and there's nothing I can do about it. So. It's like some of the food that we have, salad, some Indian Pani Puri stuff over there. So they're preparing for international nights here. And that is the Qatar Foundation headquarters where I go to pay my final medical school tuition fees. So I just paid off my final school tuition fees and hopefully that'll be the last time I pay for schooling. Now next up is student loan repayment. So good stuff, you know. So I came back to school to get some work done. Specifically, I'm preparing for the neurology exam that I have two weeks coming from now on. So uh, first got to do that. And then the second thing is a case write-up that's due tomorrow. And what a case write-up is, you find an interesting patient that you saw in the hospital and you write everything about the patient, what kind of presenting illness they came with, their past medical history, surgeries, medications, and family history and basically come up with uh, different plans on how to treat the patient. It's one of the few assignments in medical school where you have to write a lot and we don't have that many writing assignments in medical school. One thing that I liked about medical school is the fact that there's a lot of multiple choice questions. You're given scenarios or inform information and you're supposed to pick the right answer. So I think that fits more with my style rather than writing essays and things like that. So. I guess medical school worked out for me. And for last year medical students who are applying to the match, this week is really, really anxiety provoking and very difficult because you don't know where you're gonna match, you don't know if you're gonna match, and all your friends and family and all your underclassmen are gonna be there. And it's a big day uh, for your career because that determines where you'll be training for residency but there's nothing to do about match day results because everything's been submitted. So all we can do is wait. And I think the best thing to do is try not to talk about it, try not to think about it, going to watch some soccer games, getting some good food, things like that, and also studying and also reading. set up the Korean booth, although it was mostly the underclassmen who were organizing and had prepared everything. We prepared KFC, which stands for Korean fried chicken, kimbap, tteokbokki, and Korean snacks. We even had takji. And the great thing is everyone loved Korean food, so our food actually ran out first. So I'm kind of proud of our food. And there were so many performances that were well done. There's the dapke, which is like the traditional Arabic dance. There's some daisy dances and it was a great event because I got to try all different kinds of foods. There were boots from USA, Taiwan, Philippines, Sudan, Iraq, Pakistan, India. So it was great to try different foods and different cultures. We had a graduation speaker contest. And I was really, really, really thankful that I was chosen to do the graduation speech. 
And now that I have this responsibility, I want to make sure that I prepare really well and make sure to get the essence of all the medical students and all the hard work that we've put into and make sure that it inspires people and remind the graduating class what it means to be a doctor and what a great privilege it is. I need to make sure that I do like a great speech, you know. So uh, with great responsibility comes great work. So I got to get working. Very long day and very productive. That's why I can see um, I'm about to go to sleep and, and I look very tired. So good night and see you. It's like three hours until I find out if I matched or not. So hoping for the best, but we'll see. Morning, everyone. Uh, it's JJ. I'm um, on my way to the hospital. And I still have my neurology clerkship left. And um, today's a big day because today we find out if we matched or not. I'm very scared. I couldn't sleep. That's why I look a little sleepy. And the weather knows it's special because it's raining outside. I hope that I match somewhere. It's really a big deal for medical students. So today we'll find out if we matched or not. And then four days from now on, we'll find out where we matched. So. Hoping for the best. Yeah. So those patients basically they took centers. It's purely because they lost the will to do anything. Um, they do have eye opening and spontaneous, uh, you know, response. Khalifa, do you want to be in my vlog? How do you feel about match day? Oh, I'm excited, but nervous as well. Khalifa is the number one USM elite tweeter, so if you want to hit him up, hit him up. Max. Yeah. $100 he... an hour. Hit me up. Special okay, price, okay. special price from JJ, okay? For J JJ subscribers, you'll get a special discount. 30% okay. discount. 30% discount. Code, <laughs> I love JJ. <laughs> All right, are you ready? You're going to get it wrong. You're going to get it wrong. You're going to get it wrong. Okay. Oh, no. Shut up. Sure. Yeah. yeah. 100%. Let's go! Beast, Beast mode! Woo! All right, Beast so. mode. Yeah. Hi. Yes, yes, yes. The so, Risk Kings. Only 500. One. Four, risk Kings. So this is, so, is 1,000? Yeah. And this is 4,000, right? 5,000. Yeah, 1,000, 1,000. 3,000, 2,000, 5,000, 4,000, 5,000, 4, yeah. Yeah, Riz Kings. I'm matched. We matched, we're gonna be doctors, yeah, let's go! Oh, thank oh, you so much. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see you at food, you guys see? Oh. Yeah. Oh, let's go! Minjay, Dr. Song. What are you getting me for match day? Macbook? Huh? <laughs> Macbook? Ha 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 ha!